Okay, I'm going to call the transitional meeting of the licensing authority to order at 6.42 p.m. And I'll start with the roll call. Authority member Buchanan? Here. Authority member Fallenweider? Authority member McClintock? Here. Authority member Primo? Here. Authority member Ravindran? Here. Authority members, we have quorum. And now I would like to introduce Mayor Schlachter to give you an opening address. Good evening, License and Authority. I will keep my comments brief. I'm here on behalf of the City Council just to uh, uh, send our appreciation for your service to our community here. Uh, we know that you probably have better things to be doing on such a, a beautiful, warm evening here, and it means a lot to the city, city staff, city council, that you uh, volunteer your time to come down here and serve our community to serve on the License and Authority. Um, so, you know, what you're doing is, is good work, and we really appreciate everything, so um, keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. I will now ask for nominations for chair. Please feel free to nominate yourself if you so choose. I'd like to nominate board member Buchanan. Any other, do you accept the nomination? Yes, thank you. Any other nominations? Would you like to make a motion? I move that board member Buchanan be elected as chair of the licensing authority. <clears throat> I'll second that. Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Four in favor, the motion carries unanimously. Congratulations, Chair Buchanan. Thank you. And now I will accept nominations for Vice Chair. Feel free to nominate yourself if you so choose. Can we nominate folks who aren't here? Yes. I was going to. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll let you. Uh... I'll let you have the office. Oh, I, I would nominate. Um... Member Fullen, I can't wait to miss Mr. Johnson's name, Fullen Vider, our current or our past uh, vice chair. Any other nominations? Would you like to make a motion? Yes, I'd like to, I thought I did, I'm sorry. I'd like to move to uh, nominate Mr. Fullen Vider as our vice chair. I'll second that. Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Four in favor, Fallen Whiter is our new vice chair. And now I will adjourn this meeting, take a five minute break for the new chair to take his place. Thank you. So I do move, okay, I move five minutes. Take your time. <laughs>
Okay, uh, next item on the agenda is uh, public comments. I'll just read the standard language for that. Uh, if you wish to address the authority under public comment, please sign in on the, uh, on the public speaker forum before the call to order of this meeting. Each speaker will be limited to three minutes. The authority is not authorized by Colorado Open Meetings Law to discuss, comment, or take action at the meeting on any issue raised by public comment that is not part of tonight's agenda. The chair may refer the matter to staff to obtain additional information and report back as appropriate. I believe my understanding is we do not have anybody signed up for public comment tonight. Okay. No. I, no. Okay. And we did have, I saw something that was emailed in from the public, but I do believe it's related to our item, our next item. So we would just. And their comment will be added to the packet that is online. Great. Thank you. Okay. So the next up, uh, general business. This is the um, time for consideration of uh, probable cause LA 23-001 to determine if probable cause exists to set a show cause hearing for TLAPA Pizza and Pasta Corporation, DBA Anthony's Pizza and Pasta, 2610 West Bellevue Avenue, Unit 100, Littleton, Colorado. Do you want me to announce the uh, attachments, uh, the exhibits yeah. as well? Okay, thank you. Um, I, you all got the information that was included in your packet. Um, if you would like to discuss anything or ask any questions, Ashley and I'd be happy to answer anything you have. So just as a reminder, the probable cause hearing, I know you guys don't have very many that come in front of you, but you're determining it based on the record that has been presented in front of you. You are not finding today that a violation has actually, in fact, occurred, just whether there is sufficient information um, under the totality of what you've been presented so far to believe that a violation may have occurred and enough to move it forward to a show cause hearing where evidence would be presented and the licensee would have an opportunity to address uh, the authority as well. Could you just tell us a little more about what the city will do with the licensee in between, say, this hearing and the next hearing? Assuming there's a next Sure. Right now, he is still under um, an active license, the one that was most recently renewed, and Wendy may be better to answer some of this. Clearly, there would still be the obligations to pay taxes and follow every other state liquor code, city liquor code, city tax code um, in the interim, um, and to try and get that licensee compliant. Um, but the license would not be revoked or suspended or any action taken without it coming in front of the authority. His license is due to renew in June, so, um, you know, if we have some kind of a decision based on wherever this goes, then that would affect um, either his renewal or suspension or whatever happens after this. Okay. I should say also, had we not brought this in front of the authority and just decided to wait until the renewal hearing, um, it would probably look very similar to what we did last time, right? We thought, hey, there were issues, we're gonna bring it to you um, on the renewal itself. So instead of a show cause hearing, it would just be back in front of you for a renewal like it was in 2021 um, because it wouldn't be something we would just approve on an administrative level if there were still issues going on. So if you chose today that there was not sufficient probable cause to move this forward to a show cause hearing, uh, the licensee may still be in front of you if these issues were ongoing um, prior to renewing. Does that kind of answer your question? Mm -hmm. Very okay. much. Any other questions or discussion? I appreciate the information that was presented in the exhibits. Uh, it's comprehensive. It really lays out the lengthy time frame with these issues that have been going on. Um, I, I don't actually have any. Maybe one question. What's the, what's the total amount owed in back taxes at this point? Roughly. The back taxes? Up, so there was a couple different conditions on the license renewal. One of it was paying all the back taxes as of that date under a payment plan. The licensee did become compliant with all of that. And then just moving forward, there were taxes he had to pay. And so there's a couple documented right now. It's probably in the finance one. 
that gives you just most recently in the last six months or so what is still owing or came back as non-sufficient funds. When do it you looks have like that? October 2022 had a balance due and non-sufficient funds returned of $2,523.02. This is on page two of the finance letter. December 22, balance due and non-sufficient funds returned $2,492.74. And I think in August 22, balance due of $2,638.59 for a total of $7,654.35. That's what I'm showing as well, correct. And there's um, the last two payments haven't uh, been updated in the system just yet. So January and February, yeah. do you know the status of those? Not yet. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. <coughs> if there's no further discussion, I guess we could entertain a motion. Uh, I move to find that there is probable cause to believe that TLAPA Pizza and Pasta Corp, DBA Anthony's Pizza and Pasta, 2610 West Bellevue Avenue, Unit 10, 100, Littleton, Colorado, in March of 2023, did violate the Colorado Liquor Code, the Littleton City Code, and the specific conditions placed on the license, and based on said findings, that a public hearing be set for June 7th, 2023 for the purpose of considering the statue of said license, wherein the above mentioned licensee may be present to show cause, if any, why its license should not be suspended or revoked. And further, that notice of these findings and the hearing to show cause shall be forwarded and served to TLAPA Pizza and Pasta Corp, DBA Anthony's Pizza and Pasta, 2610 West Bellevue Avenue, Unit 100, Littleton, Colorado, in accordance with the provisions of state law and that a preliminary hearing, if necessary, be set for the 10th day of May, 2023, for the purpose of considering a possible stipulation, if any, between the licensee and the city of Littleton. I'll second that motion. Again, thumbs up, thumbs down. Again, thumbs up, thumbs down. That's four in favor. The motion carries unanimously. Heck of a motion. So, if um, there is no stipulation reached, we would just we wait till June then. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Just wanted to clarify that. Okay. Um, moving on, uh, there there is no public hearing today. Uh, reports, um, staff, any reports? Just that I will be in contact with you to let you know when the next meeting is. Great, thank you. Uh, authority members, anybody have any updates or anything? And I don't have any. I, I thank you for putting your trust in me, and I hope I keep things running smoothly. And thanks to all of you folks. You take care of it. it this, it's easy what I have to do at the end of the day. Um, if we don't have anything else, then it's currently 7.01 p.m., and I adjourn uh, this meeting of the Littleton Licensing Authority. Thank you, everybody.